Hi. Hello. Um, so, I wanted to make a video tonight, and of course, you know how life is. My good lamp is not working, and I don't know what to do about that, so we're using my vanity mirror light and four candles, and hopefully that is enough. Um, yeah. Uh, let's get started. So today I'm going to be talking about sequel, and of course, last time we, we did this, uh, we talked about what sequel is, and it, it works with a database, within a database, and a database is a collection of data stored on a computer system. We talked about queries, query language, uh, and a query is just a question or a request. It's really what you ask a database to do or to retrieve. And a query language is a computer programming language that allows you to retrieve and manipulate data from a database. And that brings us right here. SQL is structured query language. Sorry if you hear my dog. He's having a fit. He's not having a fit. He's just a baby. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into that. So, a structured query language, or a C SQL, uh, enables data analysts to talk to their databases. They use what's called um, a syntax. So a syntax is the predetermined structure that includes all required words, symbols, and punctuations, as well as their proper placements. Now the syntax of every SQL query is the same. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to add some numbers on the screen, on the screen, <laughs> on the chalkboard, and 
Um, I'll explain them after, so just ignore them, okay? So the syntax in which you write your query starts big, looking for the table, table, and then it gets smaller and more specific with certain conditions and criteria being met. So you're looking, you start with the select, you're choosing the columns that you want. This is where we start. And then you look for that information from this table. And then any specifics that you're looking for. And I'll give you an example, okay? I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, which I'm not very good at explaining things. So hopefully this is, hopefully this makes sense. It doesn't really need to make sense. This is for educational purposes, but you, you get it. You get it. You're smart. You're, okay. <laughs> so, you say select let's say this is the name of the column, right? You're looking in like a database. It kind of very similar to like an Excel spreadsheet, but it holds more data. So you're looking at a column that says first names, right? From the table, we'll say from. customer data, customer name, and um, oh, you know what, from the table named customer name and a data set named customer data. Yes, I got that right. So this is customer name in the data set customer data. The data set name is always followed by a dot, then the table name. I always get them I always get them confused. So where this is where we can get more specific. So then you're asking the data, give me a table or a column where the, we're looking for the first name is the title of the column. 
from the table customer name and the data set of customer data. And then we're shrinking, we're saying, I want the name from the first names to be Tony. The query uses three commands to locate customers with the first name Tony. And I know that this can be kind of confusing, but really for the, like most of the time, you're really looking inside of data. Like whenever I'm doing these, you can say this and this will say all, uh, looking inside of all of the data columns and then everything is the same, but you'll still end up finding Tony. Tony. Tony Soprano. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching until the end. Um, please remember to like. And it's terrible. And subscribe. And um, I guess hit that nail. Nail the, the bell notification. out videos uh, once a week on Fridays I'm thinking I put out a poll on the community tab if you saw that thank you for voting um, basically the majority of people said towards the end of the week uh, when they preferred and so that's what I'm gonna stick to um, usually on Fridays sometimes on Thursdays I'll do my best to be consistent and um, please check out the community tab. I do post polls there now because I need. I, I'd like to know what you guys are interested in. And also, the um, one year anniversary is coming up. Please feel free to put your um, hat in the ring for that one to see what I will do for the um, one year channel anniversary for this channel on March twenty. I think I could be wrong um, but yeah so I will see you next time and um, easy resting I guess yeah